Hello, my friends. Nice to meet you again. There is a lockbox with a five-digit password. It is known that each digit of the password is a prime number, and only two of them are identical. What is the maximum number of attempts to try out the real password? Why not give a try, and we will come back soon. The maximum number of attempts is the number of all possible passwords under the constraints of the known conditions. Let's recall a typical example, where there are no constraints at all. In that case, we need to first find the number of possible digit at each place. Because the entire password can only be finally determined once the digit at each position are all determined, this is obviously a step-by-step -step task, and there is no mutual constraint between any two steps. So the number of choices of the whole task is equal to the product of all the numbers of choices at each place. The first digit may be any number from 0 to 9, namely, 10 choices. That are the same for the second, the third, the fourth, and fifth digits. Multiplying them together, the number of choices of the whole task is 100,000. However, in our case, we do have some constraints. The first constraint is that the digits at all the places are prime numbers. We know that there are only four prime numbers which have one digit, and they are 2, 3, 5, and 7. They are less than 5, so there must be duplication. The second constraint tells us that only two numbers are identical. Which means that all four prime numbers are used. And the fifth number may be one of 2, 3, 5, and 7, so a total of four cases. These four cases are not fundamentally different. So we only need to calculate the number of choices in one of them, and finally multiply the answer by 4. We can color the two same digits differently, and regard them as different numbers for the time being, and study the number of choices of arranging five different numbers at five places. This becomes a typical permutation problem. There are five choices for the first place. Once you already selected one for it, four choices are left for the second place. In the same way, there are three choices for the third place, two choices for the fourth place, and only one for the last place. Now, let's go back to the duplication problem. Previously, we regarded the blue 2 and the red 2 as different numbers, but in fact they are the same. If we exchange them, we will find the results are exactly the same, so the final answer needs to be divided by 2. So we end up with 240. We can also deal with this question in another way. Of course, we still start from four cases in terms of the identical numbers. This time, let's consider the places first. We have a total of five places. First, we select two out of them for the two identical numbers. This is a typical combination problem. The answer is 5 times 4 divided by 2 times 1. Then, we select three places from the remaining totally three ones for the other three numbers. This is a typical permutation problem. The answer is 3 times 2 times 1. The final answer is also 240. In this table, we have listed all the 240 possibilities. If you are interested, you may have a look. To sum up, even with these constraints, it may still take up to 240 attempts to find the correct password. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.